Happy Father's Day. Hope everyone has a great day with their dad. Make sure you go give your dad a big giant hug today and tell him how much you love him. Um, so <clears throat> my dad comes and, and we hang out together pretty much every Sunday. But see, here's the thing. What happens is my dad comes and he tells me that it's time to get to work in my yard. So I have to get out here and get working in the yard. Well, I was kind of snuck out today to try to hurry and get some things done so he wouldn't have to tell me that I needed to get them done. But as I was working, I saw a ginormous pile of ants and I was like, oh no, the ants are gonna track into the house and then they're gonna try to get into the food and it's just gonna be a disaster. But then I start thinking about it. I start thinking about like how ants are, how strong they are. I don't even know if you know this, but ants can carry 100 times their own weight. My gosh, that's crazy. I can't imagine putting 100 Miss Kellys on my back. I couldn't do it. They wouldn't work. But I, I mean, I couldn't carry it myself 100 times. That's crazy. But you know what? Ants are so little, but they're so strong. They're almost like superheroes or like superhuman. Like they're crazy, right? Well, this actually reminds me, boys and girls, of a story in the Bible about a little thing that was actually quite mighty. And this is a story about a young kid by the name of David. And David was small, he was sm a smaller person and leaner and he, you know, he was just a young boy. And the, his, the, his people were fighting some other people. Now, it, who they were fighting, it doesn't really matter. It was kind of like a war. They were having a war. And the other people, not David, but the other people, had some very big, large people on it. One of these people was the huge man, giant, crazy big, and his name was Goliath. No one could, defeat, could, no one could beat Goliath. Goliath, no one could defeat him. He was very strong and like everyone was terrified and scared of him. But young David said, you know what? I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take, do this and I'm gonna help this with this. So he went out with his slingshot and he took a rock and he slung his rock and it hit Goliath right in the forehead. It lodged into his head and Goliath went down. He was done. And so now everyone thought David was a king. He was little, he was tiny, but he just defeated this ginormous thing. Now, boys and girls, I'm pretty certain that the Bible is not telling you that you should go out and defeat really big people. At least I hope not, because I'm one of those big people. I don't wanna be defeated, please. What I really think Jesus is telling us is this, that through life, we're gonna have some really big things, really big things that we have to battle and we're gonna have to fight for our for them. And we're gonna have to be really smart in the way that we do things. But you can in fact defeat it if you keep pl plugging through and trust in God and know that he's with you. So boys and girls, that's kind of what I think that he's saying. This, as you, this week, I want you to start kind of thinking of some things that might be like challenging your mind or making you think or troubling you. And think of a way in which you can work towards defeating that giant. All right, boys and girls, go take your dads out to lunch. Everyone have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.